This video is sponsored by American Eagle. Now there are five skate parks in New York City that you're probably not gonna find on Google unless you dig very, very, very deep. Now I'm gonna go from worst to best in this list and the first two I wanna talk about I actually went to the same day. Now I'm gonna try my best to have the address somewhere on the screen of these parks but the first one is a place with very weird quarter pipes. It was a video called When Non-Skaters Build Skate Parks and you can tell by both the parks that the proportions are all completely out of whack. So let's just take the first one. This one just had skinny, weird quarter pipes that were built very awkwardly and then in the middle there was weird ramps that kind of made no sense and it was very hard just to even ollie off of them. That one was definitely rough, not a park I'd go to again and one that I just never found on Google afterwards. The one that I actually like a little more than that one is the first one that I skated in the video but it's just so small. It's one of the prefab skate parks that they build with the plastic ledges. It's a pretty awful skate park but it's actually one that I didn't mind. There was just no run up on either side to really skate the ledges. It's so so small. But still in a little tiny area like that to actually have a couple ramps is much better than nothing So for skate park number three and four I actually want to check them out in person starting with number three, which is right down this street Well, uh, this is admittingly a little shocking all the skate ramps that were here are gone I'm sure you can recall when I first found this spot and how often I was skating and filming here but it looks like all the ramps are gone except for one. Just this one thing. Ironically, the only obstacle I've never actually skated. I'm still gonna list this down below because even without all of the ramps, this is a very popular spot in New York just to come and cruise and actually try tricks over this trash can, which I don't wanna do because there's a uh, mud all over it. So let's, let's just skate flat in this curb. <laughs> Even though a ton of the ramps are gone, that space is still so much fun. For me, if I just have a good flat ground spot, I'm a very happy person, okay? Now, I promised American Eagle I would get a full skate day in these jeans, and even though it hasn't been a full day yet, if they can last like this so far, they can survive anything. Now, many of you who follow my Instagram know that I'm into skateboarding, illustration, making videos, and fashion, at least my interpretation of fashion. And jeans are the foundation of style. At least for me, outfits are built around the pants. You can use American Eagle to express yourself differently, and expressing yourself is creative freedom. It's individuality. Even though style is nuanced and something I don't talk about often, it's in everything that I do. It's in what I wear, it's in what I create, and how I create, it's everything. Style is your creative interpretation of the world around you. Although I'm wearing two contrasting colors, this white shirt and this black shirt, obviously the jeans go well with both. This fall, the brand is officially debuting their Airflex Plus jeans for him, and they're incredibly comfortable. So if you are looking for some good jeans, try these and let me know what you think. I'm always looking for good pants to skate in, and so far these have been exceptional. Number five is gonna shock you because it's a popular park that just happens to not be online, but before that, let's just do number for. It is a DIY skate park similar to the one we just went to. I don't even remember where it was. I just remember being on my bike and going, 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 and eventually we got there. I do know that the park is always changing consistently, and I think now more than ever, they've actually have more ramps than they've had before. But even at the time, they had a lot of ledges and random obstacles, and I had an amazing time there. I remember thinking that this park, I would go to more often if it was just a, a little closer. So here we go, heading all the way to 150. 15th Street above Central Park to go to the last and final skate park, my favorite one by far. Yep, Thomas Jefferson Skate Park. For some reason, when I Google skate parks around me, this one doesn't show up. I have no idea why, because this is definitely, in my opinion, this is one of the best skate parks in the city. It is a little weathered. The ground is actually a little gritty, so when you fall, you don't really slide smoothly. You're gonna 
rip yourself up a little bit. I also love it because it is really low key. There's not that many people that come over here. It is closer to me now. So this has actually become my local, like the place that I go to the most. I did come here for the last two days, so I probably will share that footage at the end of this video. But for now, let's just skate. That's it. <laughs> I always feel like I have more to say and that's it. <laughs> So which skate park do you think looks the best? It is so sunny. I'm gonna be, yeah, that's like that. It's been a while since I've actually had like a scene where I go to the skate park and I get to know all the locals and I do that. And I feel like at this park, I've been doing that slowly but surely, kind of how I was like in my hometown or when I was in California. So if you are planning a trip in the future for fun skateboarding adventures or just fun adventures in general, New York City, an amazing place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to American Eagle again for sponsoring. And I hope you guys enjoyed everything that your eyes have witnessed today. I will see you next time every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video. Check out at John Hill on Instagram if you want to keep up with me in real time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it!